Hi everyone, we're fast approaching Advent, the season of Advent, and I weirdly have a song uh, for you um, that I wrote for the season of Lent with my buddy Malcolm Guide. So I'll explain that in a minute, uh, but this is for The Journey This Week, and my name is Steve Bell. So a friend recently asked me about this song, Turn It Around, and was wondering if it was appropriate. She was researching songs for a Christmas event at their church, and, um, and I, I had never really thought of it as an Advent song, particularly because I wrote it for Lent, and I wrote it with Malcolm Guide. Uh, it was about a decade ago, uh, Malcolm and I were in California, we had a couple of days off, um, and so I phoned a friend, and I asked if he knew anybody that had a cabin or a kind of a getaway place that Malcolm and I could go and do some writing. Um, he got back to me within a few hours and says, I got a place for you. It's up in Lake Arrowhead and uh, gave us some directions for this cabin. Now, I didn't know anything about, I don't, I'm not, I don't know the area. I didn't know anything about Lake Arrowhead. Apparently, it's, it, it ends up to be a bit of a playland for the rich and the famous. And the cabin he found for us had once belonged to Dick Clark, who was the host of American Bandstand, and it was quite the place. And the new owners had kept um, a lot of the rock and roll paraphernalia that Dick had collected in the, in the place, and so it was super fun to be there. Um, and so anyways, I'll show you a couple of pictures. This, is, this first one is a picture of me and Malcolm on the way up. It was this beautiful mountainous country. Um, and then here's a shot of the living room, you know, we're looking down on where Malcolm and I were, wrote um, uh, the songs uh, Turn It Around and A Big Mistake. Um, I think we wrote Lenten Lands there as well. So that was kind of our workspace. Um, and then our buddy Bob Bennett joined us for a couple of days as well. He was reasonably close by. Um, and then here's Malcolm uh, channeling the Phantom of the Opera in his bedroom. <laughs> Um, and then this is a big story. This is my manager, Dave, having just discovered that the exhaust fan over the indoor barbecue wasn't working. We had smoke pouring out of this place and it was a bit of an incident. <laughs> uh, but the best part is this. This is, uh, this is the toilet that Elvis Presley, the king, uh, gave to Dick Clark as a housewarming gift. <laughs> so it was, it was super fun to be there and we got a lot of work done. Uh, at the time, I was particularly interested in writing songs for the season of Lent. And I was already sensing the divisions in the church and the wider culture that would soon deepen dramatically under the stresses of the political events of 2016, uh, followed by the, the rapid escalation of the climate crisis, followed uh, by COVID and the social decay that the pandemic revealed. And I was already despairing that the North American church had become somewhat, it seemed to me anyways, unmoored. Uh, from the teachings of Jesus. We're all too willing to retreat into ideological silos and uh, fortresses of defense rather than giving witness to the, what Brad Jerzak calls the self-giving, radically forgiving, co-suffering love of Jesus that Jesus taught both in word and deed. Um, and so in this song, I imagined um, taking a road trip with Jesus in a car. We used to call our cars a boat. <laughs> And uh, we were off to find the house or the heart of the Father. And uh, my insistence on being the navigator had gotten us hopelessly lost until I had to suggest we go back to where we started from in order to get our bearings before starting out again. So the starting place, of course, is in Bethlehem, the site of the Incarnation, where God in incomprehensible humility condescended to become incarnate as a Galilean child born under violent occupation into a deeply fractured culture, desperate for a hero or a messiah who could make Israel great again, uh, but who rather came out of the desert preaching forgiveness of wrongs, uh, the love of enemies, and an ethical spiritual orientation to the outcast, the poor, and the powerless. So Bethlehem is the site of Christian orientation, and it's the site of Christian reorientation in that sense. And as we approach Advent in 2023, under the shadow of horrific violence in the Holy Land resulting in the deaths of thousands of children, this Lenten song suddenly seems appropriate um, to prepare us for a desperately needed return to Bethlehem to get our bearings, reclaim our identity as Christ followers, and prepare for standing in prayer at the place of the world's suffering, whoever and wherever they may be. So before I sing the song, one final note. Uh, the person referred to as she in the final stanza, it's a little confusing, <laughs> uh, but that refers to Lady Wisdom of, of Proverbs, or uh, if you will, the Holy Spirit, who is gendered as female in ancient Aramaic, uh, which was the common language of the Middle East at the time of Christ.
This is Turn It Around. We've been heading down this road for a season Looking ever for a shining horizon Have we forgotten about a reason for leaving? Navigating maps and the weather Thought we were heading for the house of your father But I think we've gotten lost altogether Better turn it over Realize our journey with 